The bard, a half-elf named Althea, had been on a journey with her adventuring party for weeks. They had been to many strange places and seen many wondrous things, but none had prepared her for the sheer size of the city she now found herself in. She was completely lost her sense of direction failed her amidst the endless sea of buildings. She wandered the streets for hours, asking anyone she met for directions, but nobody could understand her elven tongue, exhausted and hopeless. She sat down on a bench in a small park and began to cry. A kind-hearted human woman noticed the crying elf and sat down next to her. She asked Althea what was wrong, and though she couldn't understand the words, she could tell from the tone that the woman was trying to help. The two sat there together for a while, until finally the woman got up to leave. Just before she walked away, she handed Althea a small piece of paper with an address scribbled on it. Althea didn't know what to do with the paper, but she pocketed it anyways and continued wandering. Eventually, she came across a group of musicians playing in one of the squares and decided to join in. She played her lute and sang for hours, until finally she looked up and realized that night had fallen. She had no idea where she was or how to get back to her inn, so she pulled out the piece of paper and showed it to one of the musicians. He nodded and told her that he knew where it was he would take her there. Together, they walked through the darkened streets until they arrived at a small building tucked away in an alleyway. The musician knocked on the door three times before it was opened by a weary looking man who led them both inside. Althea soon found herself in a warm and welcoming common room full of people from all walks of life bards, merchants, vagabonds, all gathered together sharing stories and music. She felt right at home here amongst these people who understood her better than anyone else ever could, and she vowed that from then on, this would be her new home whenever she found herself lost in this great city.